the black men of the community could not play hockey with the white hockey teams in the area. They were just segregated. We've got some season ticket holders that are complaining about bringing you here. I had to injure everything. All their name calling, the N word, I heard it all. He got death threats. You're playing the white man's game. You know that you can compete with the best, but you're the wrong color. For 12 years, we've been coming to hockey, and he's only the second one we've ever seen. Was there a discrimination issue, or was it simply the fact that he was too proud to go to the minor leagues? And you can find good arguments on both sides. There was racial slurs coming from every corner. Hey! The only way to get back at him is to win. Race, like so many other things, serve as a distraction. And the minute you allow it to distract you, you'll never reach your destination. It doesn't matter what color you are. If you want to do something, you go and do it. And don't let anybody tell you you can't do that. Why wouldn't you play basketball? Or why wouldn't you play football? And I'm like, why can't I play hockey? What's wrong with it? I didn't realize that at that time that I had uh, broke barriers and opened doors. They tried to get rid of us, but they need us. Our job is to keep building. You got guys like Wayne Simmons and Chris Stewart and PK. You need me. You double up when our numbers come through the TV. Soul on ice. I'ma put my soul on ice. Nice. He had a dream to be a hockey player. He wasn't going to let anybody take that away from him. They made it so much easier for us to, to come up and, and to play and to, you know, to not think about color as, as, a, as a factor. And, you know, it's just based on our skill and not on our color. Hockey's given me so many opportunities, and the only reason why I even have that opportunity is because of them. Nice. You owe it to yourself if you're playing a sport to know your history. Especially if you're black.